Tonight, we're learning more about a possible motive in the murder of two Medford men. Prosecutors say the man facing charges had been evicted after one of the victims wouldn't be a guarantor on his lease. WBZ's Jordan Jagelinzer has more from the courtroom. In an emotional interview with WBZ... One second. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Pavel was a great person. One of Pavel Vekshin's friends, who wishes to remain anonymous, told us about his infectious personality. He was a huge fan of uh, Massachusetts, New England, Boston. His passion, photography, spending his time taking beautiful shots of the city he loved, posted here on Instagram. He and his husband, Carol Shukin, were found murdered over the weekend. The two Medford men were reported missing earlier this month. My husband... Uh, uh, saw him, uh, it was one day before. She tells us that was one of the last times Pavel Vekshin was seen. I think it's uh, not fair <laughs> uh, because uh, he was uh, a good person. Both men were found stabbed to death, one dismembered. Portions of Mr. Vekshukin's body were located in three separate storage bins. 37 year old Leonard Volkov appearing in Somerville District Court Tuesday, charged with one count of murder and one count of larceny. Police say he's responsible for dumping the two bodies at this ice storage facility in Brighton. Vekshin's friend said she'd never heard of him. No, never. Bleach, rubber gloves, and instruments used to dismember a body were also found in the unit. Investigators found numerous used cleaning products, bloody towels and wipes, and bathroom items from the victim's apartment, including a bloodstained shower curtain and a rug. Investigators say it had been rented under one of the victim's names using their passport after the two men had been reported missing. Credit card records to the victims show numerous credit card purchases made uh, at businesses throughout eastern Massachusetts in the time frame when the victims were missing and believed to be deceased. Volkov's defense attorney Deborah DeWitt telling WBZ Volkov knew Shukin for a couple of years and that there are holes in the Commonwealth's case. A lot of what they have is circumstantial in nature. Volkov, his wife and two children were recently evicted from their Cabot Road apartment after Shukin chose to no longer be the co-signer on the family's lease. Vection's friends are looking for a local art gallery to host an exhibit showcasing his photography in his honor. Now Volkov was ordered held without bail here during his arraignment today at Somerville District Court. His next court date is May 19th. In Somerville, Jordan Jagelinzer, WBZ News.